Insurgency Sandstorm beta information. This is another shooter that I'm really looking forward to playing. Although we've already seen gameplay out there in the wild, this gives us a much better look at what we can expect from the beta that's coming in August. Yes, that's right, it's happening this month, and there's not one, but there's two betas for this game. 2018 has had a lot already for the FPS gamer. The rise of Battle Royale has brought an entirely new subgenre to pay attention to, and in the future we have Battlefield 5 obviously being a game I'm excited about. World War 3 is likely going to give me another modern day setting that I can enjoy, and we also have this game, Insurgency Sandstorm. It's coming to PC in 2018 and consoles in 2019. This is another modern day shooter set in the Middle East and delivers a more hardcore experience, which I think is becoming more and more appealing these days. The previous versions of Insurgency have run on the Source engine, the same one that Valve uses for Counter-Strike, but with Sandstorm, however, the development team has chosen to shift over to the Unreal Engine, which powers a lot of popular games today, like PUBG, like Fortnite, and Rocket League as well, interestingly. Now, as I mentioned, there are two separate betas for Insurgency Sandstorm, and the first one is coming on August 9th and it's going to run through until August 13th, so just a short test overall, and this one is exclusive to players who have pre-ordered the game through Steam. Now, as much as betas nowadays are part of the marketing machine, they do still get used to lift data and fix issues and highlight really any potential problems the game might have in its near-finished state so that things can be fixed before launch, maybe even with a day one patch. Now, in terms of content within that first beta, there will be three maps taken from the base game for you to play. These, according to the devs, will mix up more intense urban fighting in towns and streets with more open landscapes as well, in the hope that that changes up the playstyle, and so everyone can kind of get a feel for what this game will be like at launch. Now, Insurgency was always known for its brutal combat scenarios, and specifically, I liked indoor maps where you can fight from room to room. That's to be expected in the beta as well. Four game modes will be playable, Firefight, Push, Checkpoint and Skirmish, so there really is going to be plenty for you to get your hands on in just this first beta. Now, the second beta, that will be running starting August 30th just a few weeks before the full release of the game, and another three maps from the game will be playable then as well. This essentially means the entire base game will be part of the beta for you to test, rather than just a slice as with the first beta. However, and I think this is slightly disappointing, this second beta is also a pre-order beta, so it's not open to everyone looking to see if this is a game for them. You need to already know this is a game that you want to play before you get the chance to test it out. I think it would have been better to run this second beta as open to all, so anyone who was on the fence could maybe give it a go and find out if they want to purchase it at the launch day. According to the dev team, it's the second beta that will be used most extensively to root out bugs, test server stability, and to get started on their post-launch support for the game. So arguably, if that's going to be their focus, it would benefit them from having more people to test the game, and thus the beta being open so that anyone can play it, but the decision's been made that that won't be the case, and it will be locked to pre-orders only. What is good, however, is that the team is allowing anyone to host live streams or create YouTube videos when the first beta goes live on August 9th. So, if you haven't pre-ordered the game and thus don't have access to test the game, then it's very much likely you'll be able to go onto YouTube or onto Twitch and see plenty of people making videos or streaming the game. You can watch a bunch of that content and then decide for yourself if this is a game for you or not. I think Insurgency Sandstorm looks really, really cool. I've followed the development of the game since it was announced, and I've played plenty of previous iterations of Insurgency games, so I'm 100% looking forward to this first beta on August 9th. 
There's a chance I won't actually be in the country on August 9th, and I might be playing the game at the weekend instead, but the beta does go on until August 13th, so there's going to be plenty of time for me to play and make some videos for you guys, because as I said, if you haven't pre-ordered the game, then you won't get a chance to test it in the beta, and therefore... I'll make some videos so that you guys can kind of decide based off of that if it's a game that you might want to play. Make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications switched on. That way you won't miss any of my videos that I do make on Insurgency Sandstorm next week during that beta. But thank you very much for watching today. I'm going to roll the rest of this footage again at the end of this video so you can hear the audio as well. It does sound really, really cool when you just watch it without anything going on over the top. So stick around and you can watch the gameplay again with audio. It does sound really, really cool and intense. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you.